when we finish building the wall, don't plaster the house yet. We need to finish the roof first. After finish the roof, the next step is to run electrical system in the house. That's very important because when we finish the electrical system, we can plaster over it. We'll have less work to do like this. But this house, we have many labors, so some part of it we plaster, some part of it we did not plaster. To do electrical in the earthen house is easy. There are two ways. The first way is to bury the pipe in the wall. The second way is run the pipe above the wall, on top of the wall, like normal house. We can do that too. But I prefer to dig the trench and bury the pipe under the wall because it's, it's not hard to do that and it looks nicer. So the first thing is we need to use cobra or space or anything, dig a trench just to make enough, make it deep enough. When we push the pipe in there, it will be even to the, the, the wall or even it's lower than the wall a mm. little bit. When we plaster, it, it will make it even. So when we do the electrical things, we can make a hole to another wall easily by using space to dig a hole or nail the metal into another side. We can dig it easily because it's just dirt. It's very easy to work with. Where it will be switched or plugged, we need to dig a big hole and bury a piece of wood. And then we can put the electrical box screw it into the wood. So with this technique, it will help to keep the box stay in the wall very well. Because we cannot nail or screw in the mud directly, it's not strong. It's not hold the nail very well. So it's good to dig a hole a little bit big, bigger than the box. And then after that, we can put the plywood or any piece, tiny piece of wood, nail it in with a long, long nail or the long screw. At least it needs to be three to four inches. So it will help to hold the wood very well. And then we can screw the box attached to the wood. It will stay very well. The box always smaller than the wood. And then when we finish this step, we can plaster over the wood. So the plaster will help to hold the wood stay in the wall very well. And then the screw will hold the box with the wood very well. This is the technique that helps to keep the electrical box stay in the wall very well. So normally the switch, we will put the switch close to the door where we open the door and then we can turn it on off easily and the plug the outlet for the plug we need to put above the ground about two feet at most and every three meters far apart that will make it more convenient for us to use so all the box have to screw with the wood a piece of wood and the, that piece of wood need to be screwed in the wall very well at the beginning so that will help to keep the system stay very well in the mud mud is so different from metal or wood or another thing else you cannot use normal technique to hold the screw or nail in the wall the easiest way is just to bury some wood in the wall first and then you can screw anything on top of it after that and then the pipe is good to use pipe because i think it's nicer and safer to be in the mud with a pipe to bury the pipe normally we after we make the trench we just put mud in the trench and then press the pipe in the trench and then it will hold 
the pipe very well. After that, we can plaster over the pipe. So when we make sure that we make the pipe lower than the surface of the wall, it will be very, very easy to work. And after that, we just plaster over it so we can't see the pipe anymore. We will see only the socket where we can have a switch or plug. That is the finished part of electrical system in earthen house. And we we'll wet until the plaster dry. When it dry very well, we can paint over it and then we can put the switch or plug or anything, whatever we like. That is the way we run the electrical system in our earthen house.